All right, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. All right, now, here's episode two of Frauditors Gone Wow. And basically what I want to do now is once a week, uh, pick out a frauditor who I feel is extreme, worse than the frauditors that are out there. And um, in this episode here, we're going to pick Christopher, Christopher Cordover, a.k.a. Denver Metro Audits, which I'm sure most of you will agree he is extreme. This guy is truly out there, okay? He is worse than the frauditors that we have out there. He has taken his uh, frauditing to the next level, let's say. Now, mind you, in this first video, he has paired up with Reagan, Reagan Benson, who in the beginning, I honestly thought she was out there doing some good, being that she was uh, advocating for the homeless people or whatsoever. But ever since she's been paired up with uh, Christopher, my God, she has become an asshole herself. She is now frauditing with this guy. And um, again, uh, you, you hang out with assholeness uh, and you become an asshole, let's say. Okay, so... Um, let's kick this video off. I want to show you. They both go to the job fair, uh, the way they're talking. Um, uh, they've been told by police numerous times that if you're not happy on how they're doing their job, you go get a job as a cop. You do better. Okay. And, um, I'm not going to lie in the beginning of the video, while they were telling us what they uh, we're here at the job fair and blah, blah, blah. I said, Oh shit, this guy's going to get a job right on. Maybe, uh, once he gets the job, he'll, um, you know, this frauditing shit will come to an end. Okay. You get up early in the morning, nine to five and so on. Well, let's just say their visit to the job fair, he turned into a whole different why he turned it into a whole different thing. Let's check out the video and you'll get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. I'm here with Big Sister. Hey, everybody. <laughs> we came over here because everyone, uh, Big Sis had a, a good idea. You know, everyone's always telling us to get a real job. So we came over here to the Denver job fair here. It's gonna ask him some questions, right? Get a damn job. Get a damn job. So. You know, I'm more PG than she is. So we do have some, I got my cards in guys. So check these out. I might have to hand some of these out, but I got my new troll cards, one education at a time. The recipient of this card is granted another opportunity to do better. And then I got the back says, honor your oath. Don't be a Karen, don't be a chatty -o. Be polite, respect my rights, do better guys. So, oh, and, and Regan's got her little dog collar. So let me hey turn on everybody. the big camera. Here with DMA today, we are at the Denver Department of Public Safety Job Fair. I mean, does it get any better than this when you come back from vacation? <laughs> get a damn job, why don't you? We're gonna just well, go over here and check it out, see how it goes. Thanks everyone for coming in. Uh, so let's go see how it goes. Again, I got my, my do better cards. And, okay. Scope it out. So, and this is like, these are for government jobs, right? Like fire department, police officer. 911. Dispatch, right? Uh, I thought the sheriff's department was supposed to be here. Boy, this is not a very hopping event. No, it looks like not too many people are in. We're right in the middle of it. It's from 10 to two. So right now it's 12.30 our time. So it doesn't look like too many people are interested in working for the government. Yeah. So let's see what kind of stuff. Maybe they got bottles of water there. I like that old fire truck. That's cool. That's cool. Probably out of the museum. The fire oh, are you going to ask me questions? No, no, I'm going to let you. You're good. You know, you seriously. Hey, where are they going? If I get close to you like this, it's because I'm trying to get good audio because my live stream no. audio is not good. All right, here we go. Here's the fire department, guys. It's not over. It's just starting. Well, that's too bad. I got some Skittles. I want to go talk to the cops, see who, see if we recognize anyone over here. Let's go talk to the cops. 
see what district they're from. We got Denver Sheriff there. So they got city cops as well. This is going to be demonetized with this copyright and music. Um, oh, look, we do, uh, they do have food. Maybe before we leave, let's get a, let's get a burger. I'll pass. You'll pass? We paid for it. Let's see if we can get a water, guys. You want a water bottle? Yes, please. International Man is having a huge sale. Right now, buy one suit, get one free. Go and save on the staff and lie. Names like Stacey Adams. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have a good one. You too. Yeah, they're super friendly here, guys. You know, they probably take their best PR type of people on these types of situations to put them over here. Yeah. They're not going to have like Officer Lane or uh, uh, all the, you know, the crazy guys from District 6 you guys have seen. I think, I think they might be closing down early, guys. Let's see what we got here. You guys closing down early or still open until 2? Right. Okay. I guess maybe the cameras. Start packing it up. All right. What do you guys got? It's time for us to come together. Oh, gun locks. Time to break the silence. Saturday, September 10th is the sixth annual Break the Silence Suicide Awareness Festival. Take one of these cards. So I got myself a pen. We got ourselves a card, guys. Uh, says it's got the blue line on it. it. Says integrity, courage, and service, right there. Do you get the feeling um, the job fair came to an abrupt end once we got here? Yeah, that's true, guys. Did you notice that? As soon as we got here, they all of a sudden are packing it up too. Yeah, that's kind of like weird. We're getting short end of the stick here. All right. So did you hear what came out of Reagan Benson's mouth? She feels like she's getting the short end of the stick. Now, mind you, they're at a job fair. And look how they went. Reagan Benson holding a cell phone in her hand. Christopher with a five-foot pole camera on top of it. Is that how you go to a job fair? I mean, come on. Realistically. Okay. Now, mind you, uh, it's unfortunate they feel like they're being productive. They're productive uh, citizens in the community. These people are looking at them like, here, here they come to stir shit up. Now, let's be real. That's got to be sad. That's got to be sad that the people in your community see you as nothing but troublemakers and don't want to have shit to do with you. That is sad. Honestly, I could not live in a community where people are looking at me and don't like me. You know, I know people say, screw it, you know, everybody's entitled to think the way they think. But I personally could not live in a neighborhood where my own neighbors don't want to have shit to do with me. But they brought this shit upon themselves and the shit that they do. Hey, kick yourself in the ass for that one, Chris. Oh, look, they're, they're like boning out, guys. They're supposed to be open for their more than an hour here. Yeah, what if you saw this? And you, you, you can get it. Yeah. Right. Right. Who's in charge up here? Let, let's talk to him about that. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, you know what I was thinking? Are you a, are you a, in charge here, or just an officer, regular officer? Because I was thinking you say you guys are, they told you guys to do we could pack it up early and stuff. But uh, what if somebody came over here because they knew you guys were having the job fair, and then they get here at 1:30 and you guys are they drove all the way down here and you guys packed up? It's kind of like a restaurant like closing early, right? Don't you think you guys should, if you guys say you're going to be open till two, that you should honor that and stay open till two? 
Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that's probably not a good decision, right? I mean, you, accountability is doing what you say you're going to do, right? Yeah. Okay. Or then we should apply here, so. Okay. Any one of these recruiters? Yeah. Awesome. We started there. Yeah. There's a lot of questions about disqualifiers. Like it's a great career, he said. So I guess this is the guy in charge over here, guys. He said, let's pack it up early. So, you know, that's a valid point, right? You know, if somebody, they, they say they're advertising, they're open till two and then they close it down at one and then someone comes here at 1 30 that's like a big slap in their face right it's like you know it's just bad customer service right i always talk about where the customers some of you guys say we're the owners but which is true too but you know I, I consider us the customers if i go and you're advertising that you're open at a restaurant till till 10 and i go there at you know at nine an hour before and then you guys are closed that's kind of like a slap in my face right so like I said, accountability is doing what you say you're going to do. So that doesn't seem like very accountable, you know what I mean? So it's fun, it's interesting to me. Are you guys like with some media? Yeah, we're media. Yeah. I'm independent. Yep. We just came to take a look at your little job fair that you guys have going here because, like, we wanted to see if we could qualify to get a job because we record public officials and a lot of times the cops will tell us that if we think we can do it better we should go apply to be a cop so we just came to check out and see you know what the requirements are and stuff like that to be a police officer see if we could get a real job like they tell us to do right on yeah hopefully i mean you guys are closing early though right so like what if it, what if somebody was coming in you know like at 1 30 because they you guys are advertised to be here till two and they show up and you guys are boned out it's kind of like a slap in their face right I mean, but what, what, well, like, let's say you go to a restaurant and they're open, supposed to be open till 10, you show up at nine and they're closed, right? It could be like, dang, it's kind of messed up, right? Like, I guess so, yeah. yeah. All right, you too. See, so guys, they want to start a conversation with you, and I'll just I'll have to be real with them, man. I have to be real with them. And, they, and they're like, oh, shoot, what I get myself into? I should have never started talking to this guy. But I mean, that's the truth, guys. That's, that's how the cookie crumbles here. I mean, if I show up, I should at least get myself a burger, right? Yeah. Nothing wrong with getting yourself a burger. I heard you guys talking about Lane. You said Sergeant Lane? I'm sorry? You said, I thought you heard you say something about Sergeant Lane? Sergeant Lane? Oh. Sheriff's Grill. Oh, Sheriff's Grill. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about a specific person. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I'm to find out. Oh, gotcha. So you guys are sheriffs? Deputies? I'm, I'm oh, you're Denver Police? Okay. Can I put my order in? <laughs> yes. All right. You got and you're not so she's a little standoffish there. All right. So here we have Christopher making comments, uh, implying that the female officer pretty much uh, has an attitude problem. Okay. Mind you, the female officer and another officer are having a conversation that he has nothing to do with, and he wants to jump into the conversation. Mind you, again, I'm going to say, he has nothing to do with that conversation. He put himself into it, didn't hear it properly, and want to make comments. So, because she corrected him, now all of a sudden, 
She has an attitude problem. She wants to be standoffish or whatever. Okay? It just doesn't make sense with this guy. You can't win with him. He's there to look for problems. They say they went there for a job, and the next thing you know, here they are, turning shit, finding a fault in everything that these uh, people are doing. And then he wonders why they don't want to have shit to do with them. Yeah, it's packed up. Uh, yeah, you know, like I was saying to the to them and the audience is that accountability is doing what you say you're going to do. And so, like, if you say that you're going to be here till two, and then you bounce out at one, like, like I said, that's like a slap in someone's face. It decides to show up at one thirty. You know, that's not cool. I mean, like I use the analogy of restaurants all the time. If they say that we're open till ten, and then someone shows up at nine and they're already closed, it's like. That's that people will actually go out of business or they lose business because now they're like, oh, I'm not going to go back. They can't even I don't even know if they're going to be open. Right. But see, that's like I always say, that's the difference between the free market and government. Right. Is they have a monopoly, so it doesn't matter. But uh, no, I'm so wait. They're still she's cooking them up for me. So we got this lady here hooking me up with a burger. So we're just waiting. Probably get my burger and then we'll bounce out. that they can't even stay true to a, a, a recruitment process. That's, yeah. that's, they don't care. You, you know, Paisen is in the news all over yesterday, bitching about how many officers have left Denver. They've always got an officer to respond to a homeless call. They've got Buku officers to respond to sweeps, hours and hours and hours of sweeps every week. Are we really that gullible? that we have bought into this idea that there's not enough police officers? Give me a fucking break. Well, I mean, when they send, what did they send? Uh, I think it was 13 officers for me and Sweet Tea at the Social Security Administration. There. For two, two people recording. But in Denver. Me and you just and Sweet in Tea. Look yeah, at, me and you and Sweet Tea, remember? We had eight, eight to ten officers there for us just recording in yeah. there. Yeah. You know, it's like, and you know, that's happened with me and Donahoe where they send all these tons of officers, Denver. District three, district four, yep. and it's like, well, they got that many officers for just a couple guys with cameras. And they can't like, respond to serious. And then you know, calls? and then like the accident where they those crazy kids, they were drunk and drove minutes. into a into an electrical transformer. Right. It took them forty five minutes, and they just let them go. But it's the messaging. <clears throat> Look, it's the. All right, so I'm going to end this video in about a couple of seconds. The minute I kick it back on, but. Um, have you noticed since they got in there, all they've done is um, find fault in uh, everybody that they've come into contact with? Have you noticed that? So how do you consider yourself a part of the community when basically all you're doing is finding fault in everybody that you come into contact with? Does it make sense, no? I mean, look at the people that are there holding the event, holding the fair, let's say. Okay, everybody's having a great time socializing, you know, stress release. Okay, and um, these guys, they're walking around. You got Christopher walking around with a five foot pole in his hand, camera on top, Reagan holding her cell phone in her hand. D do, does, does that look like they're a part of the community, or does it look like they're there to stir shit up? Okay, I mean, really. Okay, so hey, you also heard them make comments about um, the incident that he had with teenagers, right? Well, that's my second video, all right? We're going to kick that off the minute I put this video back on. Um, we're going to end it with the, the cocky comments that Hagen Benson is going to make about uh, the propane tank that they're using to cook their food. This is how they end their... Uh, they're going to end their uh, their occasion there. Okay? Nothing but bitching about anything they can bitch about, guys. Let's get back to the video and kick that other video off as well. You got a permit for that? Fire department's supposed to give you a permit for that. <laughs> I 
Actually, that's true, right? It is you true. You're supposed to have a 1.5 gallon uh, tank. Only a one, permit. even a one gallon, only a one gallon is one legal. Gallon tank. And these require special event permits. But, you know, it's government, so we do what the fuck we want. Thank you. Yeah, Mile High Auditor, found a car accident over here, so the cops are going to be coming shortly. I'm here with right, right there, and I'm here with Can't You Read. <laughs> oh! Show them, show them the name tag. Oh, you didn't put your name tag on yet? It's still <laughs> <over> here. <laughs> Whoopsies. <clears throat> so let's go over here, guys, and check it out. This looks. All right, so I'm going to take a guess that some, if not all of you guys, have probably, probably seen this video. Now, the fact that um, he re-uploaded it two to three days ago, it was, I said, what the hell? I'm going to re-upload it as well to uh, remind the people of the, uh, the way the um, Sweet Tea and Reagan Benson acted like immature kids themselves. Mind you, Christopher, Sweet Tea, and Reagan Benson, they got to be in their early 40s. They come across an accident scene. Mind you, they're driving around just looking for anything that they can consider content. They come across an accident scene involving five kids. Okay? Now, I call them kids. They're probably in their early 20s or whatsoever. Okay? Again, I'm saying, these guys are driving around looking for anything that they can consider content. They come across these uh, five kids that ended up uh, driving their car into one of those power electrical boxes that that you see on the side of the road mind you uh, here they are pulling over they want to record the teens now here they are spinning it to their subscribers that they are there to record the first responders which happened to be firemen that were on scene okay out of the hour and 45 minute long video that they took I say maybe a good five minutes were of the firemen. The other hour and 40 minutes were focusing on the kids. So here they are spinning it to their subscribers. Uh, they're there to record the first responders, but the entire video was focused on the kids. And um, apparently one of the kids, you got to think about this, okay? Because, yeah, I'll agree. The kids were, uh, I think they were under the influence, okay? Um, Hey, it is what it is. We were all teens. We all did stupid shit when we were growing up. Now, that doesn't justify three people that they don't know happen to pull over and start aiming a camera at them, okay? There are teens. The teens are going to speak their mind. An adult probably would have said, oh, yeah, three assholes with a camera. Hey, let them record away. Teens, uh, like I said, they're going to speak their mind. Now, because one of the kids ended up calling Sweet Tea a fat something. I, all I heard was fat something. I didn't hear the whole, the whole thing. That kicked off the argument. Here you got Sweet Tea, Reagan Benson, uh, acting like kids themselves at a schoolyard, arguing between these kids here. Okay? And then um, I think one of the girls happened to touch uh, Reagan Benson's phone. And here you got Christopher threatening to pepper spray the teen girl okay again this asshole all of these frauditors they go out there to provoke people we all know this okay they go out there provoking people and when people give them give them back the reaction that they want now they want to pepper spray them ain't that some shit okay they are truly quick to pepper spray somebody and um again they're there they have nothing to do with that accident none of their business and um, you're gonna see that at the end of the video reagan benson who uh like these frauditors always uh bashing police and uh pissed off that the police are quick to arrest people and all this shit. here at the end of the video reagan benson wanted them to arrest the teens all because they were pissed off that these teens gave them back a fight that they were not um they would normally wouldn't get from anybody normally people normally shut up and and suck it up not the teens the teens gave them back a taste of their own medicine let's check out the video so you can better understand what i'm talking about
I think they're all drunk. Yeah. They're over there fighting, arguing. Yeah. Hi there. Too close to the, the car and all that. Oh yeah. Are you guys like TV? All right. yep. Like what are you guys? Because it's kind of weird that you guys are recording us. Away from, uh, the car and that block. Like, it's kind of weird. It's weird. This. If you guys got a life, it's almost 10, 10 30 at night. Like it's 9 30. Okay, but don't almost 10. What do you mean? It's weird. It's 9 30. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot hot. We're Why laughing at you. Nobody's laughing at us. Why? Why are you guys, you guys have no life. Looking dusty. You have some little hills. You guys look weird. We're good. Like, it's you guys. And you guys just ran into an electrical box and crashed your car. But it was Yeah. I don't think you should be talking shit to us, lady. You're the one that's a dumbass that crashed your car into an electrical box. Okay. No life. Like, it's weird. Oh, I'm going to come up and record. We record spectacles, and yeah. you guys are making a spectacle of yourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we do. Weird. Weird. Bitch, you are on an Android for what? Wow. We're not drunk. <laughs> they want to do a whole TMZ video. On this. Okay. Huh? Are you guys going to give us a check or are you guys going to get a check? You guys ain't even going to get a check, I bet. Nothing. Oh, be lie. Shorty, let's be a man. We ain't worried. You're in a tennis ball. Girl, you in a whole tennis ball. I was like looking crazy. Oh, that's you probably almost over 50. Where's your kid? Recording. How old do you think I am? How old do I look? Who's talking to you? Where's your kids? We're talking to these old hoes over here. But I'm not old though? I'm young or what? Nigga, you look about you 20. No I'm life. Fucking recording. I'm 20? I look 20 with no life? Literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she gave me a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> you guys look a little ridiculous. And, and it's not we ridiculous. look ridiculous? We, we look ridiculous. <laughs> well, <laughs> just crashed your car and totaled it because you're dummy driving drunk, and we're we look ridiculous. <laughs> Man, you guys are illegally parked. Young little baby wants to record. Old little Bobcat wants to record. Him. You guys are gonna get a parking ticket. Fucking tennis court video wants to record. It's fine. It's fine, baby. Don't worry. <laughs> It's, you guys want to know, it's, we're laughing at you. They're laughing at us. Real question. She's going to get old someday, too. Exactly. Telling me and my girl here, old and fat. <laughs> what? What? Girl, check out your fucking ass. Yeah. Please go get you guys a girl job. Because ee, you looking a little too old and a little too flabby. Hitting the puck. She looks flabby. Have you looked at yourself, girl? Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? Look, you can see your knuckle. Okay. You can see your big ass teeth. <laughs> 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 yeah, she's even laughing. Like, yeah, wow. I have big teeth. Yeah, I think like cool. <laughs> Sweet teeth got big teeth, I guess. Are you coming up at me? Hey, hey, back up. You guys have to back up. Do it. What did you say? What is Oakley doing? What did you say? Back the fuck up. I didn't hear Tell you. Tell them, please. You back the fuck up. Because, because it's only Daniel. Tell them they're weird. They're trying to go. Do you see my eye twitching? Yeah. 
up. What are you going to do about it? Back up. What are you going to do about it? Back up. 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 Hey, no, I, I, know. I, I just want you all to side walk. On the sidewalk. Please. No, hey, no. That is just me. She's like, did he see her? I'm asking you all to say it. I'm asking you all to say it. I'm not a doctor. Yes, they think wrong. Okay. All right, so you're going to notice one of the girls that's arguing with Reagan apparently uh, pushes Reagan's hand down. Reagan is holding a cell phone while uh, arguing, and you'll notice the girl push that phone down, like, get it away from me, okay? Now, let me just say, I understand the kids, uh, they, were at, uh, they do have some fault here, okay? Um, they're acting childish, they're acting uh, immature themselves, okay? But you also got to take into consideration here you got three grown-ups that uh, they don't have nothing to do with this they just ended up pulling over and just immediately start recording these kids not knowing what the situation is okay and um apparently you know they are intoxicated or under the influence of something okay uh, i'm not trying to make excuses but i do want people to be open-minded and look at the big picture okay these people go provoking people and then when shit doesn't go the way they want to now they want to threaten to spray somebody which that would have been i think a charge on his ass because regardless that the girl initiated the the touching of the phone there whatever i don't know i would say she uh holding her phone i felt uh, threatened I thought she was going to hit me with the phone or whatever. Well, that's what I would have said anyway. But again, I'm going to say, you're going to hear Reagan make comments that they are there recording first responders. Take a look at who's who's recording who, okay? Recording who? Going live. Going live. Going live. So, uh, we're out here in Denver PD District 4. Uh, with DMA and Sweet Tea, and we weren't gonna go live, but uh, are you live? I'm live. Oh my god, so we're Is DMA live. Oh, no. no, 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 no. So, I we weren't gonna go live, but th this group of kids that are clearly intoxicated wrecked their car into this electrical box over here on Morrison Road and Perry. And so we're just recording. Oh, we're just watching first responders. No cops are here yet. And these these girls are over here running their mouths. It's been funny. These these there were five people in this car and they're over here talking shit to us. And they're telling us how stupid we are. They're saying we look ridiculous. And they just wrecked this <laughs> car. Johnny <laughs> driving Holy drunk. Holy crap! And we're we look ridiculous. Girl, you fucked keep up talking. your car. No, keep talking. Is it your car or your mom? Yeah. <laughs> so they're clearly intoxicated. The fire's been here. This has been going on for a half an hour. There's no cops. We're on the public sidewalk. The fire department doesn't know what to do with this car because it's this is a hot electrical box. <laughs> and uh the risk. Yeah, you can't park here, ma'am. <laughs> you guys are illegally parked. You guys are getting a park. Oh, this is good. This is good. These two girls are drunk off their asses. They are the ones that wrecked this car, and they're up here talking shit. I know. This is good. They're laughing this at us. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> and Denver, and Denver PD is nowhere to be found. Uh -huh. It's been what a good thirty Ten. minutes we've been here. Well, no, we've been here about twenty Ten almost. minutes. Oh. Yeah. I got 18 minutes on my camera. I've been recording. So. Okay. It's, so it, it's been at least 20 though because we got here and already saw the scene. So it's been yeah. probably 30. Well, minutes. the fire department and the ambulance were already here. So <laughs> the the ambulance left. I guess after they yeah. determined the cops weren't coming. So <laughs> this is uh this is interesting. <laughs> and they're uh they're making fun of us because we have no life. 
Like, calling like, us old and fat. Like, she's, yeah. she's gonna get old someday too. Exactly. Like, calling me and my girl here old and fat. What? What? Girl, check out your fucking ass. Yeah, I know. Look at her. <laughs> be careful. That car is a bitch. So, there's a firefighter over there trying to figure out where to cut the power. So they can where move. Is the fire yeah, across the street. Oh, okay. So they can. <laughs> so they can move this car. <laughs> this this poor man. He lives right here. Yeah. And he was worried that they were going to run into his vehicle. And he's just pointing out how close they came to his vehicle. She looks laggy. Have you looked at yourself, girl? <laughs> Have you looked at yourself? Wait, in the hold on, let her talk. You, Say it again. You look about 20, have no life. I look about 20? Shit yeah! Nice. Right on! Don't I look about 20 up. with no yeah, life. I'm just a what? I am crazy. I'm just blind? Did she call did she call me a slut? <laughs> hey, where's a uh, uh, Jimbo PD? You'll be there too. I can't wait to see you. They're notified. How long ago were they notified? Because these these kids are drunk. So where's Jimbo PD? I mean, they're drunk. It's obvious. <laughs> okay, we gotta see this, kids. <laughs> do not. This is why you do not hey, drink your drive. These kids, literally, they're they're drunk or high. They just wrecked this car, and they're over here talking shit to us. I love it. There's there's no uh, police department response. Look at this. <laughs> We might have, bitch. Sweet D's over there asking her if she hit her head. We might have, bitch. <laughs> you can see your big ass teeth. You have big teeth. Smile. Sweet D's got big teeth, I guess. Oh, this is good. <laughs> you see any open containers? <laughs> see any paraphernalia? Let's get the let's get the report done before the cops get here. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 Yes, they've been called. Okay, how long ago? long ago? I do not know. I'm worried about your safety. Could you I got, we're, we're in control of our safety. But thank you. Camera for what? To make you guys famous? No, look. You look to make you guys to make you look famous. No, you're going to be famous. Yes, you are. What are you guys? What are you guys? Right here, no plates. Right here. You guys are no tags. You look like no a golf player. Can't you, you read? look like an old Can't you fucking read? grandma. Can't you read? And you guys are looking weird. Honey, you got your fucking eyelashes way too big. They and look so like they're me. about to fly off your, Those your oh my you god and your fucking hair, girl. Brush that shit. Brush it. <laughs> Brush the 
them eyelashes. <laughs> Holy crap. You, yeah, you know you what? You look ugly. 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 These drunk kids just ran into a power box over here in Denver District 4, Denver PD District 4 off of Morrison and Perry. It's been over, it's probably going on about 40 minutes. So they want me to stand on the sidewalk. So I'm going to just come stand over here on the sidewalk with you guys. This girl is drunk as shit. Look at this. No cops. Somebody's head went into the windshield. <laughs> Wow. Oh, you don't want to stand here with me? They, they, they tell us to get in the, they tell us to get on the sidewalk and then they go get in the truck. You got that mace? I do. I'm ready to use it too. But... Yeah. They're drunk as fuck. They're, they're high. All right, so that's like the third time now in this video that uh, between Reagan and Christopher, here they are threatening these kids to spray them with mace, okay? Again, they are the ones provoking this here. They have nothing to do with this accident. They've been there for X amount of time uh, provoking, my opinion, provoking these kids, okay? Regardless that they, uh, they feel that they're intoxicated or high on something, let's be real. We've all, all of us, I gotta imagine, have experimented with weed or alcohol, some form of intoxication growing up, okay? So to pass judgment on another person, I don't think that's justifiable. I think that's being an asshole in a sense, my opinion. Fuck me, do it! Do oh, it! Oh, so I said like pepper spray? So I give it! Do it! So I give pepper spray? Do it! We record this so I can really stop this. Get your arm down! That's white uh, privilege. Stand the fuck she knows back. she has you white privilege. Really Get your arm down! Yeah. She knows she has white privilege. Bitch grabbed my phone. I saw that. She off. All right, so as you notice there, Christopher wrote on the screen, look at how pretty these ladies are, and these youngsters want to call them old and ugly. Again, that's just a sign that he's uh, stooping to their level of mentality. We're talking kids that are under the influence compared to 40-year-old, early 40-year-old adults. But whatever, whatever. Where are they going? Oh, the cops are here. Oh, the cops are here. Oh, yeah, no, we ain't disrespecting you. Okay. We're just watching. We're just here filming. I think you should talk to these folks first. Okay, are you involved in the accident? No. Nope. Oh, you're not? Yeah, it's weird. They're falling We're in just line everywhere. Everywhere we right? go. I want you to do a good job tonight. Right. Can I have your card, please? Yeah, no, please. Right on. Thank you. We want to see you do a good job tonight. We're looking forward to it. Can I get one, too, please? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here you go, sir. We have... Thank you. Can Thank you see you. your last name? Last it's Iglesias. Iglesias. Yes, ma'am. Badge number 20. 0332. 20, 0, 2, right on. Picture? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that! Look at that! I love it. We like this guy, he's cool. Okay, he's gonna do a good job tonight. Yeah. Hey, he's gonna run! He's running! He's running. He's running. He wasn't even on the scene, dumb bitch! He wasn't, we can't pick them up. Uh, yeah. I was, if anything! We only, we only live down the street, we walked here. You guys sound retarded. Yeah. Come here. Come over and sock her. We'll see what Come happens. Come here and sock me. Oh, let's that fool's going to find a bitch because he can't find me. Let's do us all turn, guys. Come on. She's crazy. She's crazy. The, the cops would let us leave right now, bitch. They're going to run.
run. That's how you know we ain't incarcerated, you dumb hoe. Oh, we ain't yeah, incarcerated? <laughs> you mean intoxicated? You, stupid. you dumb hoe? <laughs> huh? They Speak with your chest. What? Speak with your chest, nigga. Tell the cops like they are. Yeah. Speak with my chest. Where's the cops at? Yeah, tell them to leave us alone. Come, please. come over here, please. Can you us to leave them alone? Yes. Us to leave them alone. Now we have we just need to be left alone. They're the ones that came up to us and started talking. Oh, we give an ID. Well, let's, let's get a little closer peek. I thought you guys give their side and you don't give a fuck about it. They're Mexican. They're white. They, you know I mean, like, they're they don't give a fuck. Look at that. They have cameras Please. and shit. Stop. They have cameras and shit. Stop. Stop. You shouldn't get to me. I'm the one who did it. Now we got another cop. Give me, give me a second. Let me know that you were the one who did it. Yeah. First of all. Okay, and that Mexican card? Yeah, I know, it doesn't work. I know, I don't know. Listen to me. First of all, I'm Cuban. So that Mexican card is not in order. Why not? Just relax. Okay, I'm doing my job. I have to see what's going on. I'm alone here. So give me a second, calm down. I'm here to help you out. I get it, but I can get it. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me see what's going on. Okay, it's fine. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah! What's your channel called? We famous. What's it called? What's your channel called? We famous. That's just called Adidas and Oakley. No, what's it called? No, no, no. No hating, no hating shit. No, 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 no weird shit. Hey, don't touch my camera, bitch. Yeah. You'll get fucking sprayed. Back up. Don't fucking touch me, bitch. Oh, oh, it's a bitch. Let's put the camera down, bro. I'm on the fade. He put his camera down and get the fade, but he don't even do that. Yeah. You just get the fade. You put it down and get the fade to this. Are they being gone for fun? I'll do it. I'll get her out. You want to do it? I'll go get around. Go. Beat the, beat the out of you. Okay, hey, do punch it. Punch your first up. Do it. Punch your first up. Do it. Punch your first up. Are you my treat? There's your treat. Oh, give me back okay. my mate. There's your treat. Show my mate. Oh, who took it? Drop that shit over there. Give it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They're treats. Drop it over there. She's going to go catch it. Catch it, bitch. Are you on the DMA? No. Oh. Yeah, these kids are here. Touch me. And now she's over there all Laughing. Look at. They're, they're, they're dumb. But they yeah. Away. Are, you guys, are you guys the police? Who are you guys? Nothing. Alright, let's just come over. They just let's left just the rubbish to your car. They're so mad. I'm not following this. Send that big shot. I've got my shit in here. here. Don't follow me. I'm going to have you guys just stand right here. Yeah, tell them not to do this. Just do it. This girl just went and got in that car. And got her shit out of there. Why are you letting them roam? Like this? Why aren't you controlling the scene? Because we're completing our paperwork, and then once we're done, they can get out of here. So who was driving That's her the car? car? Whose car? That's the driver's car over here. Uh huh. The girl in the pink. And are you gonna like do a roadside or? I just got here. There's other officers that are dealing you with this situation. So she's drunk as. Okay. She I will reeks let the other of alcohol. Know. What the f are you guys doing? Seriously. What in the. F what are you guys doing? You have got to be sh me. It's like a joke, isn't it? Yeah, this is like Reno 911. Yes. And then the Twilight what? Zone. This is District 4. How? Why? We are exactly oh, where we're supposed to be. Remember? That's this is District true. 4. There's Holy CMA. Like, Dude, we literally told the f cars. And they said back up. You guys are weird and old, no lies. 400 views, what's that gonna get you a dollar? No, you'll probably have like maybe 50,000 when I publish the video, about 50,000. Maybe 100, depends. That's good. We need to get the incident number before we get out of here, guys. But I guess they're gonna let these, these drunk people that crash into an electrical box and total their car. Uh, there's hot wires over there still. That's all we want. 
He won't roll his window down. He's too fucking lazy to roll this window. I well, this guy started out cool. He was cool, right? I know. Yeah. Him? No, he was. He was on a mission to not be here very long. You try to get one from here. I'll get. Try to get one from this guy. Over Hey man. Hey man. Hey man. See, this guy's gonna ignore me if he's going to. Hey man. Hey, can we get an incident number? What is that? Because we want to get an incident number. It's public information. We can get it. We're, we're here right in the mix of it. So we just want an incident number. We're going to be on our way. Okay. I'll talk to the officers that are in charge of all of it. I'm just here to help out. You don't have, you can't, you're not capable of getting me the incident number? Well, I'm going to talk with my other officers here. You have to talk with them in order to give us the incident number? I'm going to, yeah. Okay. Right. I don't have to, but that's what I want to do. He doesn't have the incident number? So. He says he, he's going to talk with him before he can get permission to give me the incident number, I guess. I didn't say permission. No. Well, you said you said he's not going to give it to me until he talks to his other Could officer. Could you write it down on your card, please? Sure. Just write the incident number down on your card. Or the, ca the case number, please. It's going to be a case number because she's getting cited for something. Yeah, this is ridiculous. I can't believe she put her car up on there and do that. Like that. That's nuts. Got a cam back, guys? Alex, get out of there. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just hanging out right here. I'm not doing nothing. What high water is it? What are you smiling at? For what? For oh, oh yeah, you say, say, it, say it in the camera. 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 Go fly away. It's entertainment for what? You're 300 Your views. You want to get on your job? Away. Oh baby, my mommy's pretty. My mom did a great job. Your daddy Guess what? Did. Your daddy did. Your mom did a bad job because look at you guys. No live recording. What? Live on Facebook. Live on a tape. I don't even know why. What the fuck? you're doing with your life. You could be way better than what you're doing. It's kind of embarrassing. You're just gross. You're just gross. Stop. Look at you. You're in a you're tennis outfit gross. looking dusty in some 80 year old <laughs> shoes. You're ugly. <laughs> Where's your grandkids? Well, you told Where's me your kids? Funny. What are you doing? Literally, what are you guys doing? Just looking at you. For what? Yeah, look at me. This entitlement generation. You just make it a fucking ass yep, of yourself. Yep, yep, yep. Do you work? Look at you guys. Do you? You guys are working. Yeah, we recording work. what? We do work. Do you? Recording what? Do you, you work? Trash can crash? Do you work? You do guys you have a job? Here. Do you have a job? I have a good job, and I can try to make more money. Where do you have a job at? I make more money than you guys. Shut up already. Fuck. My sister wakes, makes way more money than you guys. You guys are just all face. Just go. go Nothing. They look at old and raggedy. Ugly. Money off you're not hurting my feelings. You're just you're just I would hope so. Hey, you're just ugly and cool. Where's your kids? I bet you have like three kids at home. Where are they at? Okay, where are they at? They're at work. Where are they at? At work. Where's your kid at? At work. Obviously you don't have them, but she's almost 11 o'clock at night. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy hell. Like she's all getting mad. I bet you she don't even have a baby daddy. I don't no have a baby daddy nothing. either. Where's your ring, baby? Where's your ring? <laughs> oh, She doesn't have a baby daddy, daddy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she she had her kids by herself. Right here. Oh, right there. Yeah. You guys are ugly and weird. This bitch is old wearing high water. <laughs> this thing is wearing, don't even know what those are. Fuck Skechers. This bitch is wearing church shoes. These are like, Adidas. What the fuck is you wearing? Pick a sugar. Look down. Pick a what? Yeah, what the oh, fuck yeah. are you wearing? Oh, I look good. You got some dusty ass jeans on. They should have been thrown away a long ass time ago. You had to plug out on sock off. Damn, girl. Yeah, those those jays are growing yeah. roots. You need to get yeah. some upgrade. Look at him. Look at him, because I'll kick your camera and you. Yeah, you kick my camera. Go ahead. They're going to mace you. They're going to mace me. Do it! They're gonna make me! Do it! Tell them to you! 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 Do it! Tell them to you!
one of them uh, took her mace and chucked it into that lady's yard so they're just being your friends or whatever they're being really immature so we're gonna get the incident number or what uh, no, sir, but you can have my business card. Yeah, for privacy reasons, it's their case, for not your case. I mean, I can get the incident number. I'll that's just fine, it. then you can go get the But that's what I'm number. saying. Why would you even prevent me from getting it when I can get it? Clown right here. What do you mean? So we got uh, R. Murphy, I guess. Clown right here, guys. Straight clown. He said he has to ask permission to get an incident number. They want to not give it to us. Batch number 21007. Officer Clown Murphy. Clown Murphy. Yeah, Clown Murphy. Yeah, Clown Murphy. Has to get permission, I guess. They're not giving. They're not giving us the incident number. He said. And then um, oh, he gave it to me. Oh, you already got it. Oh, Murphy, we already got the incident number, bud. From Inglacius. No respect. So do better next time, bud. Do your job. No respect. Don't come close. No respect. Listen. No respect. Back up. Bro, they brought us. Yeah. No respect. Listen. What do you mean respect? Listen. No. Are you with them? She's just trying to ask you a question. No, no question. Come on, let's go. I'm really f***ing disappointed. All those f***ing muscles and all those tattoos, and this is all you've got to show for it? Shut up! It's not funny. Why are you laughing? You're gonna piss me off and things are gonna get really f***ing stupid if you laugh at me again. Let's go! You're gonna f***ing let them get into a car. Let's go, man. They're letting them drive away, guys, these drunk-ass kids. Oh, because this lady came to pick them up. This lady, yeah, she, she doesn't know exactly what went down, and I think she was trying to ask. So she's here to drive them because she knows they're f***ed up. She knows they're f***ed up. She knows they're f***ed up. And you're letting them go. You guys are this is funny. pieces of for them drive wow, this is Are D4 you for you guys. Yourself? Denver police. That's why we're here tonight. Yep. That's why we're here to expose this tyranny bullshit. They just des destroyed an electrical box, crashed their car, and you guys are just letting them go. You're a clown, bud. You're a That's my name, my badge number, and my assignment. That's what we were provided. Can, can you tell me why you don't have printed cards? Because those are what I have. We got the incident number, guys. We got the incident number. So that, that clown Murphy was trying to not give me the incident number. He said for privacy. How stupid is that? It's not private, man. Any person can get the incident number. Privacy, guys. He said privacy. There you go, buddy. Say thank you. You're welcome. You guys have a good night. You too. The incident number is not private, bud. It's public information, dude. I know you're just a rookie, man, but you need to do better than that. Yeah, he's if I ask you for the incident number, you give me the incident number, bud. Do better. All right, so there you go. Here we go again with these frauditors um, always asking for an incident number when they have nothing to do with that particular incident. Why are they so concerned on getting an incident number on something that they don't have nothing to do? Now, mind you, yes, it is public information, but technically they would have to go and put a FOIA request and all that other, you know, the paperwork, let's say, okay? Here he's uh, bitching and moaning at the officer as if the officer is obligated to, which the officer is not. We will find out in a little bit um, by a supervisor, a sergeant of that officer. They're not obligated. The officer is not obligated at all unless, unless the individual is involved. If the individual is involved in that deal, then they're obligated to give them that incident number. But as we all know, these knuckleheads there want to play junior reporter, pretty much instigating shit as well. They're not obligated to give them no incident number. And here he wants to call the cop a clown. And like I said, you'll notice if you haven't noticed it yet, Reagan Benson pissed off at the police because they did not arrest those kids. Honestly. That's a kick in the ass. Here they are, the ones, the people that go bitch at police that they're abusing their power on people. Here and now, because the kids gave them a taste of their own medicine, they want those kids arrested. That's a son of a gun, ain't it? Let's get back to the video and finish up episode two of Fraud It Is Gone Wild, and I will see you in my next video. Your names on these. So we don't have all of your information. 
Can you call the incident number on there too, please? Uh, did you guys not get the CAD number? No, we didn't get it. I'll get it. So. I'll get it for you. That was a CAD number that he gave me. The 22? No, no, he gave me a 38. Why? It, that, it yeah. should be 22 dash something. Yeah. And I'll he, get it. I'll I get knew it. he was bullshit. I'll get you the CAD. I knew he was bullshit. Well, it's a thing too, with the case number, we're not required to go and give you guys the case number, um, but I'll be more than happy to go and get it for you, okay? That would be good, because okay. it's public information. Yeah, because you're gonna get number. it anyway. It's just, yeah. you, I know you can get it anyway. Yeah. Can I go get um, it? In, sure, okay. that'd be great. Because he knows what's supposed to be, the CAD number. Case number. So why didn't you give me that number when I asked you? So I think that's, well. So you did it. Well, hold on. You gave me a different number. Why do you keep lying? Reagan. Holy shit, where do you find these uh, people? I, I don't know what you prefer. Uh, you can call me Regan, but thanks Regan. for asking. I appreciate yeah. that. So I'll Regan. go and make sure he knows. He's taking up. pictures of me now. What? Look at him. Hey. He's being a dick. Is that your personal phone or your cell phone, He's bud? He's taking pictures of, and then he wiped his hands. Hey, I'm after talking to you, bud. Did that. Personal Why phone or cell phone? Why are you phone? doing this? Because I'm going to do a public rights request. Your fucking sergeant is here, you idiot. You just made a public record, so don't delete that. Or that's a crime. It's a misdemeanor crime. He had his f***ing cell phone up in the window. I think this guy started off cool, man. Now he's a clown. Hey, 18-8-114, Colorado Revised Statutes. That's abuse of public records. I got you on camera taking pictures of us. We're going to get that off your phone. So if you delete that, it's a crime. So I hope there's nothing on that phone, man. We'll get your Pornhub history and everything on there. Right. Do better, man. Don't retaliate against us, bud. You're a clown. We thought you were cool at the beginning, and then you just went backwards, man. I'm trying to take it.